how's everyone doing today? Sorry about the pause there. Just chatting. Um, yeah. So today, I, well, off stream for the past couple of days, I've been grinding, uh, grinding up Pokemon, Pokemon Arceus. I've, I've been heavily enjoying it. I almost completed the, the entire decks for, uh, the first section, so. I can't, can't really do much until I get to the next section. But at least I, I've unlocked six stars, so I think I can use Ultra Balls and whatnot. All right. Sorry, just getting myself organized here. So I have Dartrix, Luxray, Togekiss, Driftblim, Scyther, and Snorlax. I've been waiting. I haven't done any story progression, just mind you, so. Yeah, I definitely think that's Mars on the left. The, the haircut is very familiar. So it's come to Ursaluna as well. This suggests that even Pokemon that are not nobles can become frenzied. I have received no word from Adamant or uh, Irida, but this is not something we could simply ignore. In any case, you have my thanks, Miss er uh, Miss Arazu. You did you did well to inform us of Ursaluna's situation. No problem. Adamant's got his hands full running our clan and all, and Ursaluna's warden wouldn't even give me the time of day. So the galaxy team are the only ones I could turn about this. Ursaluna's warden is Miss Mistress Calaba of the Pearl Clan, is it not? Of all the wardens, she is the most narrow-minded, ahem, bound by, by tradition. Ah, uh, no. She likely does not take kindly to outsiders meddling in her affairs. I have a new mission for you, Final. In order to study Ursaluna and the Crimson Marlins, I permit you to show your strength if necessary. Hellion. Chat. Oh, I did, did, did not fucking update. Fuck. Thanks for the catch, Ali. I appreciate it. Also, Ali, how's it going? The next area we'll be sent to investigate is the Crimson Marlins. You'll find the uh, Pokemon living there to be more fearsome than those in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Even the landscape itself is harsher with steep ravines and seaside cliffs. It is not welcoming. At your current rank, you should be able to like, handle the Crimson Marlins on your own. Here's what you need to know. Your destination is a place within the Marlins known as Solassian Ruins. Isn't that a place in Platinum as well? Can I stick around because I don't want spoilers? No worries, Ali, no worries. Ursuline is one of the Pokemon new to this game. Its evolution method is, is very exact. No, no, no spoilers on that one, but I think I know what's what it's about. Ursa Luna. It sounds very close to like Teddy Ursa. Uh, your destination placement is. Uh, this is where you'll find Ursa Luna's warden. So yeah, off stream, I've done like a shit ton of grinding. Most of my Pokemon are forty plus. Not gonna say more than that. Okie doke. Um. Oh, actually, now I now I can. I've also been waiting to evolve Dartrix, so let's let's see what his new form looks like. Interesting. Oh, it's like an autumn, autumn decidueye. That's really cool. I like that. I'm still third star member because I don't like grinding. I actually find the grinding in this game to be very fun. What, what kind? Let's let's what kind is it? Grass fighting. Okay.
Interesting. Oh, it has some cool moves. Triple arrows. Delivers an axe kit and fires three arrows. This chance raises if its future attacks landing critical hits. Ooh, I actually really like that. Uh, I'm going to swap it for aerial ace. When did Duratrix get the ability to evolve? Like, what level? Oh, fuck. I can't remember. Like, 35, I think it was. I could be very wrong, but... I'm going to assume that this Pokemon has a very high attack. I do kind of wish Decidueye still had its Spirit Shackle, but I I believe this would be better. Out of Luxray, I found a Toga Kiss. Like I found like in the in the uh, scene in Fieldlands, I found a Toga Kiss in the middle of nowhere. So I I or just Okay, so like we're uh, I guess don't you don't want spoils if you don't want to discover it yourself. So not much has changed. Was it flying around? Yes it was. Did you want me to show you where it was, uh, Rose? Well, hello, Final. I was just getting the itch to battle with you, and now here you are. It must be a sign. You're right. Let's have a fine battle so I can go clo closer with Pikachu. I'm going to kick that rat's ass. Mr. Mr. Mesterix. Sorry. Oh, I'm severely overleveled for this fight. I'm learning about Prime Gaming. What's Prime Gaming? Not many channel battles from what I've heard. And I, f I find that to be kind of nice. Because then you can just battle other Pokemon on your own terms instead of you go around a corner and someone just slaps you in the face. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh! Masterix, thank you so much for the Prime. I greatly appreciate that. Found it. <laughs> I appreciate I appreciate you subbing with Prime, man. I, I I like now you have access to like all almost all the emotes except for the tier two and three, which is eight total, I think. Oh, that actually looks quite cool. I like that. Oops, I keep finding myself caught up in observing the way Pokemon use their moves. My phone's at 11% right now, go charge it! You also, don't you don't have to stay here if you're low on battery. Also, that was, Rose, was that a sure for the, showing you where the Togekiss is? Pikachu may not be very happy with me after that. Thank you for battling with me. Here, have this new recipe. Stealth spray. Interesting. I've been working on studying those strange space time distortions. You know the ones I mean? They've been appearing here and there lately. They seem to hold wonderful items, but frightfully strong Pokemon too. If you go into one, be careful about it. Now time to head to the Marlins camp. Uh, okay. 
Okay, watch Nintendo Direct through a Connor Eats Pants video. <laughs> what were your thoughts on that, Cheeto? Alright, uh... Oh, I may, I may have gone to the wrong place. I just need to remember where. Okay, I now remember. I'm being targeted. Oh, fucking Geo, dude. One sec, gotta refresh. Okie doke. Also, uh, Foster Dragon Hydrate, thank you. Oh, pop that back. Also, I managed to catch four EVs, I think it is. Also, I found a Blissey, but I can't, ca can't catch the Blissey because it was like level 60 something. Anyways, you. So Wii Sports and Mario Strikers aside, I've never actually played any of the Mario Strikers ones. So yeah, you come to, you come to about here uh, just before the Flow Arrow, Flow Arrow Gardens, and then you climb up this wall here. Thankfully, not with too much pain, and then you just kind of ride along this ridge. Rip Mario Kart 9. I I think uh, with Nintendo doing that, it's actually better in the long term. Because that way they can cement uh, the Switch for longer use instead of having to constantly jump generations. Anyways, you come up here. And you got to be really careful and you got to use a Feather Ball. But there's a Togekiss right... Oh, ow. Uh, there's a Togekiss going in circles up here. Uh, right at the the, the uh, opening to uh, Lake Verity. Oh, I just realized flying is going to do double damage against this UI. Ah, oh, shit. But pay DLC? Yeah, no, but that's... That's that's how Nintendo's going to do things from here on out. Now I gotta go test some other things. I'll probably be back. Okie doke, Master X. I didn't really care about Fire Emblem. Neither did I. I just kind of looked like a rehash of Fire Warriors, to be honest. I know uh, Hyrule Warriors kind of based it off of um, that other Warriors game. I can't remember what it's called. But Nintendo is basically just rehashing things. For all we know, we're going to have like a, a, uh, a Mario Warriors. So yeah. Uh, if you get a feather ball, you can just catch the Togo Kiss going in circles here. It takes quite a few tries because the. Yeah. But man, the, like, I. I basically creamed myself when. Uh, when I saw Xenoblade 3. I like so many characters in that. Is there any lost and founds? There is. Xenoblade 3 probably got mixed responses. Not from what I've heard, because though the, the those who are a fan of Xenoblade uh, know that like this upcoming game is gonna be like a mix of one, two, and X. So 
So at least, uh, at least Rose, you know that. Uh, at least now you know where the little the toga kiss is. There's also another. Do you know about the Blissey? If you haven't yet checked the trading post, oh, I have. Um, where is? Oh, it's probably at the Marlins. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to save up for a steel coat so I can evolve my Caesar. Wait, how did I get a Pikachu? Oh, from battling it, that's why. I can't wait to explore the uh, Marlins. The one, the, the one gripe that I have. Ooh. I see a temple. The one gripe that I have with people in that direct is like people saying like, "Oh, it's it, they're they're just look look at all these games with such shit graphics." Like, no, they're fucking ports of old games. What do you think? Do you think you found a shiny, but it's just a g different gender form? <laughs> Actually, I saw a shiny... Oh, I saw the shiny Heracross, and then I accidentally fucked up. Uh, I also found another one. I think it was a Staravia that I had a shiny. Here we are, my boy. The Crimson Marlins. An area teeming with poison-wielding Pokemon. And plenty of others besides. I've heard about your mission final. If you're looking to, to, for the Celestine Ruins, they're off that way. This is a nice large, another l nice large area to explore. For now, I'll keep searching for the space-time distortions. There's little way of knowing when or where one might appear, but I'll do my best. Sure, be handy if my map could tell me. Oh, what the hell! Space-time distortions are dangerous places where powerful Pokémon might appear. However, if you're brave enough to enter them, you might be able to find rare Pokémon and items inside. Working on both of you to carry your survey work as best you can, but be mindful of your limitations as well, won't you? If wild Pokemon are giving you trouble, I suggest you go to the training grounds and have Captain Zisu teach your Pokemon some strong moves. No Mother 3? <laughs> Honestly, I, I was, I've never been a, like, purveyor of the Earthbound series. Sorry to sort my shit here. There we go. Well, they're not in the right place for diamond, pearl, platinum. I'm about to hop out of another portal and fall into, or onto, I forget, Hisui. Uh, onto, you come from the sky. Also, I should probably use all this EXP candy that I have. Ooh, this, this place is looking actually pretty good. So this is where this lost satchel is good. 
<laughs> Fall damage. <laughs> All right. Um. How many MP do I have? 781. Okay. Hey there, you got, you're got a go-getter from the Survey Corps, right? I have a quest for you if you got some time. I'd like to know about a Pokemon called Roselia. It has gorgeous red and blue flowers for hands. Such a graceful Pokemon. I often to the Golden Lowlands to admire the Roselia, but just watching them from afar isn't enough for me anymore. Do you think you can complete Roselia's page in that Pokedex of yours and show it to me? Okay. Go strategy is to favorite your Pokeballs so you always know where they are when you need to quickly swap to them. Craft some Master Balls with Plank and Plank. <laughs> How deep are these? Oh, that's a... That's a bud do. <laughs> yeah, I just smacked with the face of the Apricorn. Nice. Anyways, mavens. Oh, that, that Psyduck is drowning. Uh, it's very deep. I can't drive this thing for shit. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a Carnivine. It's so stupid looking. It took me a while to realize that Roselia evolves from Badu. Yeah. Also, you, instead of having to go to the uh, items menu, you can just use the bottom right. Oh. Also, you can tell by the chance of uh, the Pokeball, uh, by the amount of uh, steam that comes off it when it's going up into the air. If it has a low amount of steam, it's probably a higher chance of catch. Oh, I'm nowhere close. Oh. Oh, that's a... Hmm. There's some Tangalas, a Tangrowth. Uh, ZR. That's your question, Rose. Oh, this is mud, okay. Come on, get the fuck up. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's a... There's a gun tank. Should be leftish.
Oh, I see it. Oh, and it doesn't work when you're being targeted by multiple assume? No, you can do it with multiple. Because it's ZL to switch, not ZR. So switch targets, I mean. I'm definitely going to go on a catching spree later, that's for sure. I, I love I love the dopey Pokemon because you can just walk near them. That is not what I meant to do. Hell yeah, five iron chunks. 25 years and 23 series of Pokemon and Ash is still 10 years old. I never liked Ash as a protagonist, to be honest. He was always a whiny little shit. Never matured at all. Dodge is everything. Everything. What am I? Wild Pokemon is lashing out at you with its moves. Dodge right out of the way. I've already died twice. <laughs> don't worry. The reason I don't use stunning is because I'm not sure if it decreases your friendship with the Pokemon. It does not. It's just it's just a, to increase the uh, the capture chance. Whoa. I'm Calibur of the Pearl Clan, Warden Calibur to you. Oh, now look at that! You have a Celestica flute. You must be the one they say fell out of the space-time rift. That's right. I see, I see. I've already heard about you. You quelled that cleaver in his frenzy. I'm sure many people were saved by your actions, but I wonder if there wasn't some other way to handle the situation. What you did is hardly different from bullying a Pokemon into submission after all. And you run about catching Pokemon up on those little balls you carry. I don't need any help from you, Sort, or the Diamond Clan for that matter. That young lady, Erizu, offered to help, but associating with the Diamond Clan, it just won't do. Be on your way. Ash as an antagonist, I think, would be the equivalent of, of Hop, to be honest. He wants to be the very best, but he keeps getting his shit kicked in. There is there is much I must do, and I prefer not to be distracted any further. Ah, final. Why you show me the strength that could quell even a frenzied lord? What are you doing here? Battle with you might let me experience even a fracture of the powers the nobles wield. I think he's... But the antagonist will have plot armor. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be such a scummy protagonist?
Oh my, you're quite, a, you're quite adept at instruction your Pokemon in battle. My goodness, that was fun. I thought it was Chat Lamity. I fucking... Is the title still not changed? I've been trying to update it. Can you read unknown? Yes, I can. Also, you spelled unknown weird. There's no K-N. No title's changed? Yeah. I, I, I apologize. It fucked up. But nobody on Twitch says Chat Lamity. Fucking Twitch. <sighs> oh, on Discord? Okay, that's different. I apologize if you were expecting chat lamity. And the antagonist is aware of the plot armor. That would be hilarious. Such uh, such prodigious strength. Now let me just heal up your Pokemon. Well, now I think that settles it. Must help with your. I must ask for your help in retrieving this stolen wall fragment. With your skill, it should be a cinch. Wall fragment. Yes, exactly. Some bandits pillaged the Solosian ruins and made off with a fragment of the wall engravings. Have you not heard of the uh, no, notorious misfortunes? There are a trio of bandits that even hit us, Ginkgo. Uh, Ginkgo Guild uh, Merchants a few times. Honestly, I can't read unknown. I know it's a very bad with people with dyslexia as well. When the antagonist is competent. I think, uh, like, competent protagonists are actually really good. That's one of the reasons why, I like, like, in the Star Fox series, uh, like, the Star Wolf... Like, actually being half-decent mercenaries in, like, any game past Star Fox 64. Ginkgo Guild Merchants uh, more than a few times. Not the kind of regulars I like to have, let me tell you. Mistress Calva is doing everything she can to retain the fragment. But 99 years old, it's a bit of a, a bit hard for her to chase leads all over the place. So what do you say, kind sir? Why not help the uh, help find the fragment for the warden? Oh, naturally, I'd be I'd be happy to lend you a hand. The sisters swipe my wares too, and I'm no Ginkgo Guild merchant if I take that lying down. I'd be far from, and it'd be far from, uh, and far be it from me, let them just get away with vandalizing the precious uh, precious ruins of this region. <clears throat> you know, I did see the remains of a campfire near the Mylan's camp. Perhaps worth checking out. Oh, there's a predicament. Predicament? Echo. Why the fuck? Let's see, I've lost two satchels and people have not uh, helped rescue mine. I'm going to get a texture on your gut phone. Oh, the recipe on how to make a ballistic <laughs> missile used on the missile. <laughs> gives gives me the power of ultimate destruction. What do I have for hardy grains? Just two? Three. Okay, that's what I needed. Because there's a qu oops, there's a quest I really want to get, uh, get done. Oh, what the hell? I can't use... I've skipped the dialogue in this game and I have the tech speed set to slow. 
I have become Death Destroyer of Pokemon games. <laughs> I might just use a ball for this. Oh, I fucking... Okay. I do gotta say, I much... I, I, I definitely think the attack animation of this game are much, much comparable to like uh, Pokemon XD and Colosseum. Because those had some really good attack animations. Luckily, the Switch has a clip feature where I can see what I skipped. Yeah. For those who don't know, it's just holding capture. The quote was from Oppenheimer Pokemon TCG Tournament winner. <laughs> that's 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 really good. I like that. Oh ho! I visited the Survey Corps recruit who's called the Lord of the Woods. Here is Troy's Iron Boy. Are you? Don't waste your breath. I've got nothing to sell to him in his store anyways. Now go on, Scurry. Pestering me for goods and I'm already uh, tearing my head out trying to get hardy grains. Sheesh. Well, you've got some hardy grains. Would you let me have some, please? Just three stocks. Sure, here you go. Hardy grains, the Crimson Myrland's finest feature. Sway of those golden brown stalks across the landscape. It fills me with yearning for home. I wager if you combine harder grains with some other ingredients, it'd be, bring out tasty aromas that would make Pokemon gather round. Alright, well, I won't send you back a failure since you so kindly brought me these harder grains. Tell Troy I'll set him up with some new wares. Hell yeah, old geezer, thank you for being reasonable. Is AGDQ soon? AGDQ already happened early January. We got good new. We got new goods in stock, thanks to you. Sorry, I have to deal with all this. Tao, Tao Hua, and I have some complications before. Thanks to you, we've got excellent new items to offer. Do buy some. Not a bad list. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Huh. All right. Alright, uh... Diamond Settlement. Oh, is there actually like a small town here? I swim to Honshu, just keep going south. What's Honshu? I swear to God, if you hit me with a DN joke, I'm gonna 
fucking start throwing bands. Awesome. Alright, level 10 already. Haunt you nuts in your mouth? Fuck's sake. Oh, by the way, Moist, are you going to be able to help me out with the the, the 20 diamond thing uh, after stream? What you understand upon now? <laughs> oh, main island of Japan. Okay. There's burnt out campfires. Someone must have been here. Now, who might you be? Not some straight traveler from the look of you. Hold up, the one on the right is... Jupiter? No. One of, one of the Team Galactic members. There's only one reason people go poking around in the middle of nowhere. Okay, actually no, the, all, I recognize all three of them. The, the middle one is the... Uh, one, the, the middle one and the one on the left are gym leaders. The one on the right is one of the old Galaxy members. Chillin' on it right now? Okie doke. You stole 20 diamonds? No, I've just been making a fuck ton ever since I got my Fortune 3 pick. There's only one reason people go poking around in the middle of nowhere. You're after us three, aren't you? Sisters, we should introduce ourselves properly. Uh, before we show this poor old fool uh, how wrong he was to assume he could ever beat us. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and I'll, I'll in ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm. You thought you spotted a four-leaf clover? Well, I'll soon have you seeing double. I'm the middle sister, and I'm the one clover you can't pick. Yeah. Heads, I win. Tails, you lose. And I've got no chance in this game of fortune. I'm the youngest coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. With the infamous band Bennett Trio, the Misfortune Sisters, and your luck's just run out. Who the hell names your child coin? I I I think they're just nicknames, hopefully. Let me handle the sisters, I'll only hurt them a little. Come on, Toxic Girl, let's doubt this villain poison. That was really easy. I'm not fond of this outcome, but at least it's still better than applying fields for the Galaxy team. People name their kid Cash, and that's arguably worse. <laughs> cash and money. Uh, I, I hate that. That's one of the reasons why I hated, like, when they said, like, oh yeah, Kanye West named their kid North. Like, what the fuck kind of name is that? You're, you're, you're just giving the child, like, a worse future. The Galaxy team continues to spoil things for me even after I've left. I'll take that blaster frag take the blaster fragment and go. Just leave us alone. Nice. Fragment that was once part of the stone panel of the Celestian ruins. The word writing it kind of makes this stupid thing was some kind of treasure. It turned out to be a worthless slab of junk. All that effort for nothing. Tell me, why are, why were you even seeking us out? What set you on this path? I want to help old some geezer. I want to help Earth's Luna. Goodness, how selfless of you to go far out of your way for the sake of another. Not all of us have the luxury of offering such unthinking kindness to strangers. 
Do you guys see it though? Do you guys see like the the two gym leaders and the 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 one team galactic member? For some of us, simply surviving another day takes all that we have, and we got a score to settle with the galaxy team, which now includes you. Remember what? Remember what those ancient verse, verses tell us. Why is it in the days of spring, beneath the soft crest of the sun, the blossoms tremble and fall, spirits slashed by uncertainty? Your days are also numbered, galaxy fool. No, I'm not a nerd? Oh, okay. Good work, very good work indeed, Final. You got the fragment back safe and sound. I'm aware of, well aware of Kabbalah's reputation. They say she's stubborn, too old fashioned, and so on. But she's given the Pearl, Pearl Clan all she has ever since she was young. She lived her prime years he, here in the Hisoi region, trusting in the guidance of the Almighty Sinau. I don't think that she, that she hates the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. Rather, I think she simply loves the Pearl Clan very, very much. Anyways, I do hope you're able to uh, calm Ursaluna's frenzy final. A raging Pokemon in the business, uh, or a raging Pokemon in the area definitely isn't good for business, I assure you. Are we just going to skip over the fact that he's not upset that I didn't rescue his goods? I don't like that guy anymore. So you've come to bother me again. Welcome as often as you'd like, but it won't change my mind. This wall fragment. What? And you retrieve? You went and retrieved uh, the fragment from those bandits. Why do you go out of your way f like that for a complete stranger like me? I guess you're that eager to calm our saloon, hmm? That's right. I'll admit, I didn't expect anybody else to truly care for Ursaluna. Well then, let's see that wall fragment. And there, good as new. Uh, all... All lives... T-O-U... All lives, tough other? Oh, all lives touch other lives to uh, to create something. To create something anew and alive. Maybe it says, oh, okay, fine, whatever. I, I just deciphered it myself and then she... <laughs> she, she tells you what it says, read it if you want. Yeah, I... I I think the Pokemon game just d dicked me over like that. How does that lady put a chunk of all back? I would assume it's a light stone. I did the exact same thing with my brother. <laughs> I see. I suppose that means people helping each other, like how you help retrieve the fragment. I've read this passage many, many times, but this is the first time I've truly understood what it means. Maybe this is the almighty Sinnoh's guidance. What is your name then, boy? Final! What a stupid fucking name. <laughs> that was from the original Gen 4, I'm pretty sure, in that maze thing. I know what you're talking about, was it? Please lend me your strength so that we may help Ursaluna. It's true that Ursaluna has become enraged, but she does but he doesn't like to see but he doesn't seem to be in an utter frenzy. I think he will just return to his normal state if we can just give him some medicine. 
I can never bring myself to engage Pokemon in battle. But that's something I can rely on you for, am I right? Ursa Luna prefers to stay on uh, Sludge Mount. Please join me there when you're ready. There's a huge open room here. Is this not where we're not doing battle? Okay. What's this weird mount? Oh, it's a... okay. Oh, I just noticed how uh, the the weird dude's legs get brown when you're uh, dropping or jumping in mud. Oh, that's a hip out on. This is going to be a fun little time to explore after. Hello there. So you're the Survey Corps child who quelled the Lord of the Woods, are you? Think you could help with setting up our new base camp? We're making one that's up by the bogs. Our Odo uh, could use some, someone as capable as you. He's a fresh construction corps recruit, still learning the ropes. Okay, cool. Over here, final. You got lost, I remember that alive and a new phrase. I, I can see that. Moist got to it. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, Ursuline isn't raged yet, but you must still recall his long long relationship with the Pearl Clan. He never fails to show up the moment I play uh, my Celestica Flute. I still have love how that note is like the prelude and the... Uh, down in Platinum Pearl uh, entries. That's Ursaluna. Now show your medal to Ursaluna. But remember that Ursaluna is a, is a Pokemon very dear to the Pearl Clan. I, I will not permit you to catch him. I'm going to assume it's normal type, like the... Oh fuck, it's slowly approaching me. The forehead looks like a sun of the clouds. It does. Yeah, you're right. That's a turkey. I just realized it might be. I I I, th I still think it's like a. I, I still like it that he's like owl type though. Ursaluna, my poor darling, you must be exhausted from running around like that. Come, let me make you all better. I have here a special medicine of the Pearl Clan that clear out any poison in a Pokemon's body. If poisons, that's what is poisons. What's causing Ursaluna's rage? This is sure to calm him down. We call it Toxagon. They just throw up all over me. <laughs> It's so potent that we can only use it on tough, resilient Pokemon like Ursaluna. There, there, dear Ursaluna, you've calmed down now, haven't you? This is all very strange, though. He wasn't glowing, yeah. 
Very astute of you, Galaxy Team Recruit. You're exactly right. When you quelled Cleaver's frenzy, I could see the strange light rising into the sky all the way from here. But no strange light erupted from Musaluna after you defeated him, nor was he glowing. And what's... What, what is this clinging to Ursula's coat? It seems like some kind of powder. That girl from the Diamond Clan, Erezu. And why did she, of all people, find the need to come and tell me about Ursaluna, I wonder? Oh, but I almost forgot something important. Play your celestial flute for me, won't you? Ursaluna opened its heart and learned well the sound of your playing. Oh, and I got the earth plate. Nice. Ursaluna is very good at finding things that are buried in the ground. We said he's digging for treasure, even if these treasures might always might not always glitter or gleam. Now go and let your commander know what transpired here, child of the galaxy team. Can now call Ursaluna and dig for treasure. Nice. Ursaluna will rush towards any treasure he senses in front of them. Press the Y button to dig for treasure. When Ursaluna finds a spot that makes him react particularly strongly. He might find something very nice. Nice. Trying to get these. Oh. How the hell does this work? I see. Old verse 9. A part of a series of old poems that have been unearthed found around the in around the Hisui region. Judging from the handwriting appears that they were all written by the same person. Would you like to read it now? Maybe later. What is the Pokemon just called Bear Moon in Latin? Oh, because I looked up in the part of this game that needs BSP, not Darkrai. Is also in here, so don't worry about that part. Okay. Required not the actual Pokemon. Oh, I see. Okay. Definitely going to enjoy exploring. One moment final. Would you come here, please? No.
Or final, I think you've got something stuck to you. Oh? No, oh, sorry, A? <laughs> How to make shut eleven to shut up guide mod check. Yeah, I know. Is that a Pokemon? Come to think of it, Volo didn't mention that there were carvings that resembled writing us on walls of the Celestine ruins. But uh, supposing that the Pokemon we just saw is a species with multiple forms, perhaps the carving are actually likenesses of this very Pokemon. I'm gonna add you. I'm gonna add a section specifically for that species to your Pokedex final. Oh crap! Don't tell me I have to get all of them. Was this now letter-like markings seem to have appeared in the section I've just added? Was that your arc phone I just heard? If your mysterious device is reacting to this new species, I wonder what that could mean. Why button will view in the cover of your Pokedex to jump to the unknown notes? By deciphering cryptic symbols you find in the notes, you can try to find all the unknown hiding with throughout the region. These unknown possess a mysterious power that repels Pokeballs containing Pokemon. So we won't be able to battle them, but track them... Oh, interesting. So it's a battleless catch. Interesting. I guess I have to. Let's see if new observations have a look. The clues are written in unknown, by the way, just a heads up. Yeah. Actually, are you talking about in the thing? Oh, this is going to be awesome. Within the settlement, within the settlement where time where time rules. Oh, so it's okay, so it's in a pearl. No. Diamond settlements. <laughs> the Crimson Monka lands. <laughs> there you are, you better hurt to the commander's office. Okay. Reign of Cthulhu about to show up. Yeah. <laughs> Final look at memes. Okie doke. Also, General, how you doing? Give me a second. Oh, I, I love 4chan green texts. Although there's quite a bit of unneeded language. Well. <laughs> that, that is extremely based. In terms of Pokemon, Vaporeon is pretty neat. Vaporeon is neat. Took a screenshot of my phone, okay? No, it's I, I, I was able to read. I just had to, like, open it up and, like, uh, 
Chrome because it's like on Discord, like the text was very small. So it was it was still very legible though. But I think your world is better than brain. I totally agree, and and I'm glad you're good, General. I'm I'm doing all right. I I've, I've been really enjoying this game, off stream, and now that I have a new area to explore, I think it's gonna be a, a lot more uh, exploration. Some requests post some blackboard. What a massive mushroom. Care about the mushroom growing on Parasect's back. Please help. Okay. Is he gonna eat a Parasect? Most because the corruption is uh, older than Crimson. Yes, but the Eater of Worlds is also a lot more fun to battle against. Oh boy, what's going on now? Finally, we have a situation here. Let me explain. Lelegant, our, clan, our clan's Lady of the Ridge, is in a frenzy. And Erezu knowingly kept this from me. Yes, their only female Lelegant would make this, uh, this honored one our Lady of the Ridge. Uh, but this isn't the time for cultural lessons. I'd like to find out what Arazu was thinking, but she's nowhere in Jubilee Village. Last I saw, she was at the Wallflower polishing a off a big old plate of potato moki. Not that I blame her, my cooking is simply irresistible after all. If Arazu of the Diamond Clan was somehow involved in that situation with the raging Ursaloon of the Pearl Clan, uh, it could lead to two, the, the two clans going at each other's throats again. Tell me, Commander, if we do end up in a struggle with the Pearl Clan, what will you people do? We would be forced to remain neutral. Meaning what? If we were supposed to support, if we were to show support for one side, it would put us at odds with the other. We came here to create a home for ourselves, and not to take part in tearing the land apart. Right, of course. After all the work you put in to get us to treat one another as equals and keep us from fighting, I suppose it's no surprise you'd refuse to intervene if trouble were to break out again. Final, perhaps you uh, you have some idea on how we might address the situation. I could call Ursaluna. Ursaluna, so he and the Warden Kabelic uh, found you worthy? That's perfect, then. Ursaluna should be able to sniff out Arazu wherever she's gone. You're strong enough that Ursula deemed you worthy. You should be ready to quell Lilligan's frenzy as well. All to Lilligan's seat, then... Brafa Arena, it's called. If you'll excuse me. How many evolutions do you have if you have two EV? No, I had four EV. I have a Leafeon and a Vaporeon. <laughs> the big green fireman agrees with me. <laughs> Damn, I nearly died when killing the Frenzy of Lilligant. I also actually found Arazu when trying to explore. Oh, okay. Listen, well, finally, you must quell any Pokemon that cause harm to the people of Hisui. Always remember, we came here to make a new home where we could live without, without war or strife. Actually, if we're doing Pokemon Legends, one game I would kind of like to see on the topic of war is the war where Lieutenant Surge was part of it. I know it's not quite a quote-unquote legend, but I'd like to see what like a Pokemon war would involve. Did you buy the fish stone or did you get a harvesting? I found it battling a Pokemon. I can't remember where. But now I have multiple. Holy fuck, I can run? Oh, I just cl I just clicked in my st my my stick. They go to the village, are we? Stay safe out there. Uh, the girl who set out earlier must have been eating some of Benny's potato mochi. I could still smell them on her. That reminds me, I've seen Mistress Kalba riding around on that Ursuline as she serves. Digging for treasure in the ground. I wonder if Ursuline uses its sense of smell to suss out where that treasure might be. Ursuline now knows Erezu's scent. Follow the blue, s blue signals to follow her.
trying to understand why it took humans so long to invent planes. I've been stuck for like for an hour. Something because I've no idea no idea how to make a usable plane. On what game? I guess I can't climb up that way. Come on, are you kidding me? Ow. Oh, final. How did it all go with Ursula? I helped him. <laughs> Besiege or something, it's on its console now, so I'm playing it. Oh, nice. Wait, how's that game playable on a console? I guess it has its ways. Thanks so much, fella. But how'd you find me all the way out here? Ursula found you. You tracked me all the way here by the scent of the potato mochi I ate. That Ursa Luna shoe is something, and I know he descended from one of the Pokemon that were blessed by the Almighty Sinnoh. But still, wow. My luck's run out, though, as you most likely tell. I got chased by Pokemon and sprained my ankle pretty bad as I was running away. It's almost like the world wants to punish me. Ah, there you are, Urzu. Alright. Eek. <laughs> My gr my granddad is Irish. Actually offended. Oh no. Mistress Caliba, I did, I didn't. I owe you an apology. I treated you with disrespect, thinking you were some whelp from the Diamond Clan. I'm sorry about that. I should have treated you better. Huh? Wait, but it's not your fault that Lilligant became frenzy, nor that my Ursuline was so enraged. You were trying to help them both, weren't you? I didn't even have the courtesy to listen to you. You'd think someone who's lived as long as I have would be more patient. It's okay, I didn't do a good job explaining myself either. Ursula, Ursula, Ursula Luna only started acting weird after he got too close to Lilligant and smelt her perfume. She was friends, already frenzied by that point, so I'm sure that's what caused it. The strange, strange powder I found on Ursula Must have been the powder from Lilligant. But what happens to you, like, dear? I was getting ingredients to make bombs, but I fell and sprained my ankle. See, the reason I went to Jube Life was to get help for Ursula to learn about crafting. But while I was there, I bumped into Professor Laventon, uh, and he told me about the bombs you uh, used to quell Cleavor. So I thought I'd make some food for, uh, for Little Gantz using her favorite foods. You galaxy people know all sorts of things. I'd like to learn more from you, really. Well, then better make uh, better take care of our lady and get all this mess resolved first. Adamant, what are you thinking doing this all uh, yourself? You think you're going to help you? Though no one will blame you for thinking so. Not much of a leader, am I? I've never even seen the Almighty Sinnoh with my own eyes. And I fail to imagine that Lilligant might have become frenzied too. I found her on X and I didn't know what to choose when I presented, but option because not once ever did I use Ursulina. Oh. I mean, I guess. I, I don't know what to think about that. <laughs> Listen up, final. I'll take the bombs that Arazu made and meet you at Brava Arena. Don't you worry, Arazu. Final will call Lilligant Lim Lim down and that will be that. Things should settle down. It's Brava Arena final. That's where Lilligant's seat lies. Arazu she will be taken care of. My dear Bibarel and I will make sure she reaches her lady. Well, it's nice that they actually help, like, show show them helping instead of just standing around. Oh, there's a... 
There's a fucking onyx there. Uh, how do I get to this? Maybe I have to go up and around through the... Let's try that. What is this pools of orange juice shit? Oh, this is the diamond settlement. Fun little place. Well, hold up. Uh, the left is one of the is left is champion elder. Uh, from black and white, I want to say, and right is uh the. Right looks like the bad guy from uh, Team Magma. That's that. Okay, I, I Game Freak really went all out for this game. Oh, look how cute the teddy bear says. I'm sure that is my notifications for YouTube haven't been working for Pipton, but every other channel worked. Looks like Pipton's... Oh. Someone can't get to bed because of Psyduck. Pipton, Pipton's getting the, the famous YouTuber uh, suddenly unsubscribing people thing. You're from the Galaxy team, aren't you? Do you have another medicine, medicine that can cure headaches? I need it for my Psyduck. I left together with these little ones and I can tell they've been suffering terribly. Wish I could do something to help, but none of these medicines I've tried have worked at all. There's so many people in the galaxy team, surely you must have some sort of healer. Please, could you ask them for some medicine? Huh. Anyways, I should probably head to the... I really want to get that boss done. That's a Paris. That's a... Fucking Rhyhorn. That's a vanilla parasect. Nice. A, I always think those are funny looking. What about bragging wrongs or bragging lefts? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Look how it walks. It walks so stupidly. That is, that's hilarious. Come on, jump. Okay, so that's not a way I go. Roselia. But what's the off in this area? A Roserade. Nice. I 
So you've come, I take it that means you're ready. Of course, it's round three of my list. You should not have won this at all. <laughs> Lady Lilligant's a sight to see, even in her frenzy. Behold her and be grateful. I hope we didn't keep you waiting. All it took was one of my poultices to get Erezu's leg all patched up. Kalba, ma'am, I'm deeply sorry we've had to lean on your help so much, especially as we're from different clans. Erezu tried to solve the soul situation herself. I dare say she bit off more than she could chew and cause him trouble, but her heart was in the right place. Listen, the Lady of the Ridge, Lelegant, is, a dan is like a dancer, always in motion, always darting about. You want to watch her real close and learn how to dodge her moves. That's right, if you keep on dodging, she might get tired out and that'll be your opening. Uh, that's when you can bring out your own Pokemon and prove your might. Don't let me down. Hell yeah, I love these boss fights. If it's, if it's going to be like Cleavor, I love these boss fights. Oh. Oh boy. When you press the Y, y to dodge, you'll become invulnerable to Pokemon attacks for a brief moment. Okay. Ow. I dodged that way too early. Oh, that's a fourth one. Ow. Ow. Uh. Lily got Nagata knew he's doing for most of her moves are simple enough to dodge, in my opinion. I just think, like... It's really cool. I, I love these boss fights.
Oh, oh. Oh, that was actually... That was... A, I, I, I really enjoy those fights. Like, they're simple but challenging. Oh, that's a fun little, little design. I like that. Shark or making the body of a plane just hinges <laughs> doesn't work great. Just flap as hard as possible. Receive the metal plate from Lily Gan. Nice. Hey, thank you. You didn't just save Lily Gant, you saved Arazu as well. I appreciate it. First Ursaluna, now Lily Gant. You're amazing, you know that? Being being all frenzied didn't slip Lily Gant one bit. I'm so happy she's back to her graceful self. In all honesty, I'm kind of hoping I do like a boss rush of these Pokemon. That's because it's like really fun. The feeder gave my Eevee 12 levels. <laughs> We're severely over leveled, which ruins the fun of most battles, in my opinion. Yeah, I know, but I've also, I've also been also grinding off screen a, lo uh, a lot. Arazu, you still owe someone an apology. Huh? Oh, don't worry about it. A young one like her is bound to get caught up in some trouble from time to time. Remember what's written in the Solacian Ruins? All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. There's wisdom in those words. I imagine they're the teachings of the Almighty Sinnoh himself. Itself. Of course, I'd completely forgotten about them until a certain somebody helped me remember. We owe you one, ma'am. Don't try to solve everything by yourself, Arazu. You're warden. Of all people, we should know how to stand in solidarity with others. It's our job to stand side by side with Pokemon. It's our, or after all. Yes, I know, I'm sorry. Well, I can only start yelling at you now after you've, after Calibre wrapped that all up so nicely. Just one more thing, Arazu. I know you were trying to do what you thought was right, and I approve of that. But from now on, do it without keeping things from me. Agreed? Other than that, no need to change a thing. Except maybe to put put in some training. If anything else happens to Lilligant, I need you to ready I need you ready to protect her like the warden you are. I understand. Let's work together from now on to keep the Marlins safe, Arazu. I'll be sure to inform Irida that both the Diamond Clan and Galaxy team helped save Ursaluna. You did well, final. All our groups, uh, all the different groups finally joined hands to work together today. I admit it was a fun day for me, but now it's time, about time I'd be on my way. Listen, you know me. I'm Edmund, leader of the Diamond Clan, and I worship the Almighty Sinnoh, the ruler of time. Time is all about change, and we can't live in fear of that. We can only try to help the time we live in t to change for the better. Something, something tells me helping you folks out will help me do that. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for everything, Final. I think I'll stay and talk to Lilligant for a while. What happened, Lilligant? How do kind-hearted Pokemon like you end up all frenzied, huh? Although it's not like I'm perfect. I hid things and lied and I couldn't even keep you safe. I'm real sorry about everything. Oh, I thought that Pokemon was going to go in for a hug. That Pokemon looks like it would give hugs. What the hell shiny over there? Nice. Oh, that's not what I meant to do.
Something tells me Giratina is the one sending the lightning and frenzying these nobles. I mean, it was a Pokemon of violence, so I'd, under I'd probably say yes. An overused slogan theory. <laughs> You're a real wonder. I saw light disappearing into the space-time rift. Quelled another frenzied Pokemon, have you? We still don't know what's causing the lightning that frenzies these Pokemon. But you, you just go and rescue them without even a hint of uh, trepidation. You might even change the entire course of the history here in Yisui. And I definitely want to be in the good books of someone like that. Stay in touch, Brent. That guy bothers me. Yes. Voted by the scent of my Moki, did you? Of course you did. When you have my level of skill, your handiwork can be recognized from a mile away. Remember to be thankful for getting to eat such a master from Moki when you come for dinner later. <laughs> but first, don't you owe Ka uh, Kamado a report. Your meal can wait. Gotta love old man chef guy. <laughs> If I have, if I get another uh, unlock uh, for uh, what to do, I think I'm going to do the progress throughout that region on this stream, and then I'll spend my off time uh, grinding through the Mirelands and through uh, whatever the next place is. So you successfully ca uh, calmed a little again. Excellent. There may well be times when the Galaxy team will be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves, free from war and strife. A stranger falls uh, into our world from a rift into space-time, then frenzies are in uh, induced by a strange lightning, which likewise falls from that same very same rift. But you have no connection to the lightning, isn't that right? You may need to investigate the rift itself to, prov uh, to prove your motives beyond uh, impugning, impugning. There you go, piping up potato moki fresh from the stove. Now this is Life A, and enjoying tasty uh, potato mochi with friends, sharing the latest findings from Pokemon research, and topping it all off with a good night's sleep. Truly, who could ask for anything more? I don't disagree, yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? With our research, we're carving out a life here. Oh well. Here's a flash of new recipe to try final. It's, it's for an item that should help scatter these gloomy thoughts. Scatterbangs. Pop pod and cast your fern leaf. Huh. Come now, don't worry yourself so, my girl. As a wise man once said, trust in yourself and you will find your way. These words are worth taking to heart. As long as we truly believe in ourselves, I'm sure we'll even complete that Pokedex of ours someday. Nom nom nom, delicious. The next day. Morning, sleepyhead. Well, never guess what. I'm going to start working at the hairdresser's shop. Okay. Now you'll be able to try my own original hairstyles. Isn't that super exciting? I'm still going to be Lilligan's Warden and all. I'll be burning the candle at both ends, but I can make it work, don't you worry. Anyways, come over to the hairdressers when you can, Final. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. 
Hell yeah. I'm pleased that you have found a worthy successor for your establishment, Edith. Mr. Commodore, sir, er, about that whole Ursuluna situation. If you are to work here in Jubilee, you are family to us, no matter uh, who you are or where you're from. Welcome, Erzu. And you, final, you will come with me to Prelude Beach. Okay, then. What should you do when you can't make planes work? Shoot guns. Yeah, just shoot planes. Just rocket jump yourself. These people have just arrived here in Hisui. They will live together with us in Jubilee Village. When we of the Galaxy team first arrived in this land, we came ashore on Prelude Beach. This is where everything began, and this is where a new life for all of you will begin as well. You've heard that the Hisui region is inhabited by many, many powerful and frightening Pokemon. But we've also heard that the Galaxy team knows a great deal about Pokemon and uses their mysterious powers to help Jubilee Village grow. Indeed, you have both heard correctly. And the reason such tales have reached your ears is largely thanks to Final, here, one of the Survey Corps recruits. Uh, the combined efforts of all our team members let us continue to develop our, and thrive here in the Hisui region. We look forward to doing our part, Commander. The advancement, uh, the advancement of our understanding of Pokemon, thanks to the Survey Corps, has expanded the areas where we can operate safely, as what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. Final, you truly do love Pokemon, don't you? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> hmm. Pokemon have done grave injury to many of our fellows in the Galaxy team. And you still find love for the, these creatures in your heart. I suppose that is a necessary quality for one in the Survey Corps. Remember this, though. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's imperative that we study them and learn all that we can about them, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. And be warned, as leader of the Galaxy team, I'm prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect Jubilee Village. Commander, Irida from the Pearl Clans arrived. Good, I believe I know what she's here about. As for you, Final, you should see for yourself how Jubilee Village is, thanking, is changing thanks to the Survey Corps' efforts. Then you will come to my office. Mercy, what a treasure this wide open land is. Glad I followed my family out here and got to see it. I thought it'll stay quiet and empty for long. I'm so glad I discovered the run function. Oh, it's only a temporary thing, too. I guess there's nothing here. I don't know, I felt like there was something over there. Oh wait, I have all the Jubilee things. What a tail. What a remarkable tail that was. Pokemon it belonged to must have been a wee little thing. It was hiding behind some rocks when I found it, with not but its tail poking out. But it was a tail I'd give anything to see again. Do you think I could get, you could catch the Pokemon I'm talking about? Its tail was elegant and swirly like a spring. Come show it to me after you catch it and I'll give you a nice reward. Like a spring. Hmm. 
spoink? That's what I was thinking, but I haven't. I didn't see a spoink yet in my travels. Oh, and hydrate and brush drink, thank you. There's some unknown in Jubilee, but I won't tell you where. Yeah, I think that'll be an off-stream thing for me, trying to grind out all of them. If it's got a if it's got a curly tail, it's probably porcine in nature. Oh, elegant and swirly like a spring. Hard to tell. Hard to tell since I never saw the size of it, but I think it was about the size of a Bidoof. Could be like a um, Hippopotamus. The music also changed. Nice to see you again, Mr. Servicor. You got some great timing as always. I want to make the fields even bigger, see? But we don't want to keep, we don't have enough helpers to keep them watered. If you can let us one of your Pokemon that knows a water type move, that'd be my grateful. Nice, okay. Let's use Psyduck. Your Pokemon, uh, your Pokemon will be a big help expanding the fields. Might as well get started. <laughs> wow, we your Pokemon's an irrigation sensation. And I'm all pumped up. Sit back, old Miller's gonna make the fields bigger than ever. And I'm all done. <laughs> Nice. That was some fine work. Any crops we plant here will do great, and it's all thanks to you two. We'll keep your Pokemon here to help out with the field uh, field work a while longer. Just give a holler if you want to swap a different Pokemon or yours to do the watering. Just one more to go until harvest time. I can't wait. Okay. I just like rolling in this game. It's funny how, m how many people are named after their profession. It's almost if Game, game Freak ran after the idea. I mean, with, with how many Pokemon games they've done, and how many names they've had to reuse, I wouldn't, like, put it, like, wouldn't blame them for it. Tell me, tell me, please. What's that Pokemon up there? What's its name? What's it do? It's a Magikarp. Magikarp? Why is it called Magikarp? Is it a cool Pokemon? Is it strong? Can it fly? No, it can't fly. Why can't it fly? Are those floppy things its wings? Tell me, tell me. Tell me more. Please, please. You're gonna learn. Go learn. You're gonna go learn about Magikarp, right? Can you tell me when when you're all done with its uh, page in your Pokédex? Pokédex, Pokémon. Wow! <laughs> I just find it funny. Yeah. It can't fly. It can follow a star. It can also leap mountains. <laughs> Sweet Jesus, I've created a star with the power of invincibility and everything spinning, plus a few flamethrowers. Nothing will withstand my wrath. Post pictures in uh, in Discord. I want to see what the, what it's all about. I already completed the deck, so. Magikarp's page filled in yet? Tell me, tell me. I know all about Magikarp now. I'm a Magikarp professor. That's adorable. Now it's my turn to tell you something. Sanquith told me a secret. 
Sanko said she made those Magikarp statues. But she said she really wanted to, to make Gyarados statues instead. She said that Gyarados are super strong and cool and can even fly. That's what Magikarp can... And that Magikarp can become Gyarados. You'll learn uh, more about Gyarados too, right? Please? Oh, cool. Rare candy. Hello, Grand Valley customer. You've arrived in the neck of time. I'm afraid Tao Hiwa is refusing to do business with me again. You won't listen to a word I say, so could you uh, try to persuade him for me again? I'm sure you'll get somewhere if you bring three pot pods as a token of goodwill. The only thing that good at is jumping the mid game. Well, I completely forgot about that game, to be honest. <laughs> the only Pokemon Mobile game I ever played was Pokemon... Oh, what the hell was it called? Duel? Pokemon Duel, I think it was. It was incredibly fun, like, top-down. Perhaps after this, he'll actually accept me. Any styles are both bold and stylish. Hi there, in a mood for a style change. Grab yourself a seat. So will it be? Oh, there's no green yet. Okay, but these are some really good uh, colors. Usually I download Pokemon Go solely for the gift GMX Mel Metal, but now I actively sometimes play it. I only play it when I get to, like, steel gyms nearby. I don't have data, so I can only use Wi-Fi. Ah, uh, you know what. Let's just, let's just go white. Same as always, but it's okay. And we're done. Last thing, hat or no hat? I'll wear it. Drop by again anytime you're here. I keep polishing my skills. I want fucking green hair. Thanks again for lending me a hand with that photo of Baneri last time, Recruit. Everyone in the village sure loved it. I was hoping I might get your help in another little task. In fact, would you take a look at this? Ooh, that's actually quite cool. I like that. Rather eerie, wouldn't you say? That thing was so close, yet I had no idea it was even there when the photo was being taken. From a shot like this, I can't even say with any certainty whether it was a Pokemon or something else entirely. If you recognize the thing in the photo as some Pokemon that truly exists out there in the wild, I'd like to see it. I'll chill if you hop on this. Dusk in the next area over. Yeah, I kind of figured. Lurk, muck time, don't want spoilers as well. Okie doke, Sawyer. Uh, good luck with muck. Can we get some muck and tat for, uh, for Sawyer? So I know I haven't actually explored it. Oh, okay. Oh. I'm actually building something here. Neat. What's this little stand here? Can I interest you in a candy? Here at the candy stand, you can purchase EXP candies to raise your Pokemon's EXP. 
really you can buy them? Huh. Seems a little cheap, don't you think? Oh, and there's two. There's one in Obsidian, one in Crimson. There you are, you're the one, right? The one they've been talking about, the Surrey Corps kid that's been exploring the Crimson Marlins. My younger sister wanders in the security court, you see, and she went to the Marlins too. But she never made it back. Man, she tracked down that Arazu woman and those buggy Marlins, right? Could you find my sister Wanda too? What's she smell like? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what she smell like? <laughs> oh, you mean by the search by ascent? What well, made the kerchief she usually carries could be of some use. Her son picked up Wanda's scent. Counting on you. Please find Wanda wherever the, in the Marlins she ended up. Ursula gonna hit him with a. If some weirdo asked me that when I asked her for a request, I'm canceling my request. <laughs> a nostalgic and unmistakable fragrance, if I only could smell again. I wonder if the herbs in my home region can be found in Hisui as well. Oh, you're part of the Cervic Court, right? Maybe you've seen what I'm looking for. It's an herb that looks like a bluish vine. I've heard it clings to a specific Pokemon. Please let me know if you managed to catch a Pokemon that has herbs that look like blue vines hanging off of it. Is it talking about a Tangela? Or Tangrowth, yeah. I commend you on your successful research of the Pokemon living in the Crimson Marlins. Your next orders are to begin the survey of the Cobalt Coastlands. Fun fact, Cobalt is what I always name my Metagross. Whenever, whenever I have it. I'll let you know in advance there are no Pokemon Nobles in the Cobalt Coastlands. Allow me to explain. We did have a lord in the coastlands until a few years ago. A tragedy took him from us. Now, we've had reports of people seeing strange, shadowy figures on the island that the lord used to call his home. We've also have received word from both the security corps and the supply corps. It seems that some of the members were attacked by a ghost while out gathering materials around Firespit Island. These are serious concerns, and moreover, my clan can't tolerate the, the desecration of our late lord's seats. Well, may I trust this to a warden to, uh, in the coastlands, uh, but our situation is complicated. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. The Lordless Island. I'll meet you in the Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. Oh, and I know this might be a bewildering situation to be dropped into. I'm sorry, in final. Think now I get nothing of it. Final's a talented and hardworking member of the Galaxy team. I'm sure he'll sort things out. Indeed. Final Quill, the Lord of the Woods. I've seen both his strength and his kindness firsthand. The next area for you to investigate will be the Cobalt Coastlands. It's farther afield than the Crimson Marlins. Much farther, and the path is long and trying. With the current rank, you should be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastlands. Know your mission. Investigate Firespit Island. Cool. I'm gonna already this uh, the the third uh, area. I am excited, and I feel like uh, Kari is gonna fucking try to battle me again.
What are you selling? Nope. What are you selling? Ah, oh, isn't final. Though I suppose to be expected, I'd run into you in the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? Cobalt Coastlands. Oh, the Cobalt Coastlands. Paulina's certainly in a bit of a situation over there. She's warden, and yet she has noble, no noble to see to. There are even some people in the Pearl Clan that, that speak ill of her, though not to her face. Oh, but do forgive me. Perhaps I shouldn't be airing dirty laundry. A piece of advice, then, as an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones, which hold mysterious power. With the right stone, you can even evolve some Pokemon. You need look no further than Cleaver for proof of that. What I'm trying to say is basically this. If you and the Servic Corps want to learn all there is to know about Pokemon of this region, then the stones you find throughout Hisui will be very important. There's even a tale of a stone that contains the power of creation. The very same power of the almighty Sinnoh used to create the universe. I trust you'll take my advice to heart and not be and not underestimate how important stones can be. To help grind this fact into you here, I'll give you some ran rather handy stones and things I found lying around. Great pebbles, sack of great gravel. Nice. And should you want some stones that can help Pokemon evolve, I believe the G uh, Ginkgo Guild has them from time to time. Nice. Ooh, there's a volcano. <laughs> wow. Ah, the Cobalt Coastlands, a simply lovely corner of Hisui. Sea and sky as far as the eye can see. What kind of Pokemon are we here, I wonder? Water types? Flying types? Ooh, I simply can't wait to study them all. Now, I'm sure just as excited I am to research this area's Pokemon, but let's not forget that you have a mission to accomplish. So any questions before you get started? What about Fire Spin? Indeed, Firespit Island is an offshore volcano. You need to cross the sea to reach it. I advise you to speak to a fellow called Iskin. He's one of the Diamond Clan's wardens and will surely help you find your way. I'm excited. Does this mean I finally get surf? I do love the flute. It feels as if its tones carry to the very ends of space. But I am here and so are you. So now I'm going to focus everything on ha I have on battling you. Why? <laughs> I need to under understand my weaknesses. Please do this for me. Why? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm Gabe. Very good. You who have seen the vast space beyond the rift, here I come. Oh. There's 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 just an Eevee there.
Man, I love the look of that attack. Pipe and Techno are, are not arguing over placements in their tier list as much as I expected. At least Wild V can be found in places other than Fieldlands. Yeah, I think so too. I like how different Pokemon like can or like same Pokemon can be found in different areas. Like it's, it's it seems like a correct adaptation of, of like environments. And I'm glad that Pipe and Techno aren't arguing that much. Lord knows uh, Town of Salem's heated enough as is. The world is vast and I am small within it. She could use a hug. Thank you. Allow me to heal your Pokemon. I took no damage. Alright, with you, I think you can be frank. I can't afford look to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander, but in truth, I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. You see, we have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Polina. But she tends to no, no lord or lady, and she will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. Polina, that is to say Polina, She's very dear to me, no matter what anyone might say. We're both in the running to be, become the leader of the Pearl Clan. We, so, we strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal, too. Having said all this, I have a favor to ask you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into a true heir to his father, the late lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late lord's hair would grow into a worthy successor. And if it succeeds, it should sil silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know if anyone I'd trust more to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Cleavor's frenzy. You'll be able to find Luna up on the headland. Head down this hill and turn left. You should find a slope leading up onto the ridge. Oh, I get to go. Oh, I get to go up on that too. Wait, what's this Pokemon here? That is a Progly. No, Glammeow. And that's a Sfeel. Look at it. I, 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 look how happy it is. I fucking love this feel. If he's only a rare spawn because of how much it shares its spawn table with, and it's generally low spawn rate. I mean, I think people only want to catch Eevee just so they can get the Eevee Lucians. Oh, there's a Drapion. More Starly. Is that an Unpheasant or a Staravia? That's a Staravia. Another Beautifly, nice. Oh, TKJ, thank you so much for the raid. How's it going? What were you playing? Oh, I can't believe I jumped that. Veilstone Cave. Is Veilstone another town? Minecraft? Nice. What were you, just vanilla Minecraft? Or? Oh, aren't you one of the Survey Corps members who quell the Lady of the Ridge? Listen to this. A couple of Apalm stole my pack full of goods. They've been darting around leading me on a chase. Almost like they're teasing me. I haven't got a hope of catching them. Bye. You must be used. To, you must be used to dealing with Pokemon. Can you get my pack back from those ape bomb? Okay. <laughs> I 
I want to go there. Do I get to explore this, all this ocean? Well, within limits, of course, but... Is that a Shinx? No, that's another... Oh, there's the Perugly. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go off Twitch now to play Legends on my own. Enjoy the game. Uh, you too. And thank you for stopping by, Rose. Take care. I'm glad. I'm glad you. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you had fun. TK. Did you manage to get to the Ender Dragon, or were you doing something different? Hush now, settle down. I'm Polina of the Pearl Clan, and who might you be? Why did she se why did she seem familiar? I was in the server? Uh which server? Gender Dragon is already defeated? Oh, okay. I, you're so, so you're that child from the galaxy team. When I heard how you've aided Cleavor and Lilligant when no, no one I could have called their frenzy, your strength must have been amazing, and yet you have such a gentle face. That's what brings you to the Cobalt Coastlands. We have no lord here, much less a frenzy to win for you to quell. Our previous lord was swallowed by the waves. He was rescuing his young pup that had been swept out to sea, ended up giving his life to ensure this pup's safe return. That's sad. If you were to guess, which of these growls would you say is the previous Lord's child? Small one. Oh, you have quite a good eye. His quiet, skittish growth is the child of the previous Lord. I have no doubt this little one has the potential to be a fine lord, but witnessing his father's demise has left deep scars in his heart. There are those who expect me to train him more strictly and enforce lordship upon him before he is ready, but I could never bring myself to do that. No matter what the rest of the Pearl Clan says, my mind is quite made up. I'll stay by this little one's side let him live as life as he wishes. So now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? I'm here to help the air. The Irida asks you to intervene, perhaps. I appreciate the kind gesture, truly, but I'm afraid this matter simply does not concern you. So now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? I make for Firespit. A survey of Firespit Island. I see there are rumors of places haunted by strange shadows these days. You'll need the aid of a Pokemon known as uh, Basque Legion if you wish to cross the sea. You should speak to Iskin, a warden of the Diamond Clan. He should be able to help you. There's definitely something strange happening out on Firespit Island. Those shadowy figures are concerning, of course, but there's also the odd lightning that came from the rift in the sky. Lightning is a sign that the heavens are angry. I worry that we may have offended the Almighty Snow somehow. In the past, the Pearl Clan and the Diamond Clan were locked in conflict over which side revered the true Almighty Sinnoh. Even if we reached our uneasy peace, the true Almighty Sinnoh must be angered because there are still, the, who, still those who worship a false image of it. Ah, but I digress. I do apologize. Iskin lives on Apom Hill, just past the Gink just past Ginkgo Landing. I imagine you'll find him there. I have to go all the way around. I kind of want to jump. Fuck it. Whee! Oh, 
Oh, there, I, I see Manta Ikes. <laughs> oh, you dead. Oh. Satan's number. Satan. Satan. I've di I've died and immediately to six six six. This is truly hell. <laughs> Satin color. Oh, there's a wall rain. Where's that? That's not a Starly. Oh, there's an Apom. Is this Eastside Hewisi, uh, Hisui? Yes, it is. Why, hello there, Mr. Final. Fancy running into you out here. Mew, I'm on the hunt for some plates. How's your plates hunting going, fr young friend? So so, I guess. I'm ready to be humble. I see you've already got your hands on four plates. You gain plates when you quell frenzied nobles. And when a great Pokemon recognizes you as a worthy of bearing, isn't that right? The way you've been collecting those plates reminds me of the ancient hero. The one who said to have battled against the almighty Sinnoh. You know, I've been wondering. The ten Pokemon that are said to have followed the ancient hero, their powers are supposed to have come from almighty Sinnoh himself. Why would they seek to challenge the almighty Sinnoh along with the hero, then? Perhaps we'll get some answers once we gather all the plates. Well then, let's do our, both, our best to find more. Why are you searching for it if you haven't... gotten any of the, like... Noble creatures. Are you stealing plates? Please don't overexert yourself. I hate for something to happen to one of our guild's loyal customers. You should have called it the Platinum Guild. Do do I have a visitor? I'll be right out. Give me a moment. So, um, I'm Iskin of, of the Diamond Clan, Galaxy tem team member with a Celestial Flute. Oh, you must be final, right? Have I done something uh, to warrant your visit? Yes. Well, sudden visits give me quite a shock. I do hope you'll give me advance notice in the future. So why are you here? I need Basque Allegiance aid. So you want to go to Firespit Island? Well, if you insist, then you'd probably need Basque Allegiance favorite snack. That should help warm up to you. But preparing his favorite, oh, it's um, more than a little difficult. More like an impossibly high hurdle, or really just impo uh, impossible if I'm being honest. Impossible? I'll tell you, I have the right materials, but but then you, well, you see the next part is something I can never manage. But you need to catch this one Pokemon that appears at night. Which one? You really want to know? You really don't want, you really don't value your life, do you? It's the the Dusk, Dusclops. Oh, even saying its name fills me with dread. So the materials for the food have to be imbued with flavor by Dusclops Dark Pulse. That's the only way you can make Basque Legion's favorite food to see. I'll do it. Wow, is everyone in the Galaxy team like you? Your nerves aren't just steel, they're titanium. They're platinum. It's positively frightening how fearless you are. Dusk, I can't say it. Well, the Pokemon I need only has one eye and can be found wandering around Deadwood Haunt. Deadwood Haunt is the area that looks like a hand on your map. You'll know where you'll find it when you find the wrecked boats. 
I try very hard to avoid those, avoid those one-eyed Pokemon. And so now I know a lot about them, you see. Would, would you like to wait here until night when that Pokemon appears? Yes, I'll wait. Well then... Him and I eat a nice meal and enjoy a good conversation to keep his mind off of Dusclops. Did you bring it? You know the... Oh, never mind. Dust Bobs, I guess. I don't really... Oh, there's two things right in front of me. Oh, that's creepy that it looks like a hand. Oh, that's... That's fucked. Excuse me, have you seen a fellow um, from the construction corps named Yorick? No, I have not. The surplus where could he have gone? Would you mind helping me track him down? I'll be waiting a little further ahead. Please come to me when you have a moment. Oh, there's a coastlands cap. Nice. Oh, and there's a cursed gold duck. Oh, someone died to this gold duck because the satchel's here. Kidding me. Shit's so shallow here. There's a Murkrow here. Nice. Ow, okay. Yeah, fuck that noise. I'm gonna go past it and I'm gonna double back just so I can go in the, the ferns.
Hell yeah. Oh, nice. That is a Reamer Raid. Nice. That's a strange box. fun stuff. That had to be a loot crate, yeah. Come on. Let me Skyrim horse this. I, I would have lost my shit if I jumped off the other side. Yes, it did. You really brought it? No, no, don't bring it out. Right. I guess we got to do my part, seeing how determined you are to go that to that island of Basque Legion. Usually, I ask Pauline if the gravel she takes care can help me with this bit, but this time you need to help, since well, we're making this next so that you'll be accepted by Basque Legion. Once I give the signal, you'll have that dust bops of yours used at Stark Pulse. Three, two. What? No, it's too frightening. Could you get a grip? Come on, try again. Right, so counting down to just makes the antibition terror worse. Let's simply have it uh let's simply have you do it when I say go. And go. Delicious aroma wafts through the air. Basque Legion's favorite snack is now ready. 
Get a ball of Basque Legion food. If you're a food of Basque Legion, a Pokemon that will bear you on its back. This food is crafted in an unusual way from ingredients gathered the equally un unusual methods. Both the aroma and shape are perfect. It's the perfect ball of Basque Legion food. Let's make for Ginkgo Landing, then we can summon Basque Legion there. Hello, Final. I was just waiting for you. Hello, Iskin. Oh, Polina, I thought you said we shouldn't be seen together. I'm sure Final can keep a secret. Besides, both I and the Growlithe pups were eager to meet with the ba Great Basket Legion again. Are those two going out? Well, in that case, let me summon Basket Legion. That thing looks like it'd do some damage. <laughs> Go on, final. You can give the food to Basque Legion now. You threw it. You threw in the ball of Basque Legion food. Oh, the great Basque Legion. Oh, thank goodness. I was a little worried whether Basque Legion would accept this fl this favor. So finally, you should be let Basque Legion hear you playing. Basque Legion, open its heart and learn well the sound of your playing. Nice, I have a fish. I received the splash plate from Basque Legion. Now you can ride Basque Legion across Tranquility Cove and head for sp uh, head to Fire Spit Island. My, my congratulations to you, Final. Row. <laughs> Lena, did you want to tell him? I mentioned to you before how the previous Lord rescued his Growlithe Bob. During that instant, Iskin and Basque Legion saved my life as well. Since then, I've felt a great deal of affection for Iskin here. I truly adore him. But I know that there are, there are those who speak ill of me behind my back. So I try to meet with Iskin where there's no prying eyes to preserve his reputation. Well, I was just saying it, what any decent person would do when I'd save you. Perhaps, but nonetheless, after that day, I found the strength to accept Grelith as he is and not force him to become the next lord. It was all thanks to the courage you showed me, Iskin. Perhaps we should save this discussion for another time after all. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go and ill luck to anyone who crosses their paths. I'm, uh, I'm the eldest and I'll be your unlucky charm. That you spotted a four-leaf clover roll, I'll see the scene double. I'm the middle sister and I'm one clover you can't pick. Heads I win, and tails you lose. I've got no chance in this point's good fortune. The youngest coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. With the misfortune sisters, known across the frigid land of Hisui, and your luck's just run out. Now get ready to head over that Growlithe. You want to take my partner. If your aim is to pester us with bad jokes, those ridiculous introductions of yours were more than enough. Yes, exactly what she said. Now, Gengar.
Oh fuck it. That Gengar just stole. We got all the tools. We can't, we can't live the kind of lives we want because of narrow minded groups like the Diamond and the Pearl Clan. We want to live freely in the Great Land of Hisui, we need to have powerful Pokemon on our side. Don't worry, make, we'll make sure this pup grows up nice and strong. We'll even make him a lord for ya. Let's take them out to our camp and get to work. No one will bother us in a place so miserably hot. What? No, Growlithe. <laughs> What should we do? Final. This is an emergency, right? But you see, I've never, I've never actually had my partner battle before. Please, final. I beg you, help us. The Grill, the Grill is a very, very dear Pokemon to me. Please save him. They said they were going to go to a place where nobody would bother them. The only place around the Cobalt Coastlands that seems suitable is Fire Spit Island. Now that you have Basculation to help you cross the water, you can reach that island too. Please, could you help find it in you to help Polina? Of course. Thank you. Thank you, you're so kind. We'll make our way to Fire Spit Island as well. No, Polina, you should wait up here and keep little Growl safe. I'm sure he needs you right now. Though I'm not sure if I want to go to an island with lightning and bandits and... No, come final, no time to think. We must go now. You should also know that the Basque Legion can jump from the water surface... And then jump once again in the air to go even higher. Throw items from Basque Legion's back too. Nice. I guess that would mean throwing Pokeballs to patch Pokemon. Honestly, I, s I have to admit I'm a little scared. Do you think you could head over first? Nice. Well, riding Basque Legion, you'll still be able to throw items. It's more of a met. I'm having fun with that. The fuck was it? Oh, that's a fucking mantine. Oh, there's a cave here. Neat. Oh, it's just a way through. Cool. Oh, there's more of those. There's funny gastrodons. Or What is this? Oh, it's a Finian. I'm hoping to see some really cool fire Pokemon here. Fire Spit Island. It's certainly hot enough to feel like a sweat bath, isn't it? Now we've got a ghost and bandits to deal with on top of that, on top of the heat. I'm very sorry, Final, but do you think you could lead the way? Poor Growlithe. I don't dare imagine what those bandits are doing to him now. It's got the same kind of like. Oh, what the hell? It's got the same kind of ember effect like in uh, Breath of the Wild. Ah, oh, damn it, you can't get to.
Ow. Space-time distortion seems to be forming. It was interesting that there's magmars around here. I gotta fucking do this. Oh, this is where the last lord's place must have been. Come on, evolve already. We've done our homework. Any Pokemon gutsy enough to come to this lava... Lava trap is supposed to evolve, so get on with it already. You will become stronger, like it or not. Oh look, the pest again. Stand back, sisters. I'll take care of them. Go bomb a snow, f smash this fool to pieces. Why is she bringing out a p s an ice grass Pokemon in the middle of fire? Bandit Clover is challenging to battle. This is the Pokemon I need. Serious battle time running is not an option. Okay. Easy peasy. I don't get it. How do I lose? Because he used a quad. Uh, a thing that's 4x weak to fire. Shut the fuck up. You know, Bomb Snow can't fight at full power in a crazy heat like this. It wasn't a fair battle. Uh, we're basically going easy on you. I just realized her clothes are very much reminiscent of the Ginkgo clan. In fact, how dare you make poor Bomb Snow battle in such a uh, stupidly hot place? You're the one who sent out a Bomb Snow, sister. Go on then, Tokus. Go pour out some poison for our unwelcome guest. And one shot like that too. What a uh, blithering moon calf I am. How could I let myself lose? I guess I, I lose the coin toss sometimes. I did warn you, didn't I? That I had to score to settle with the galaxy team? All the pain and suffering I exp ex experienced after coming up here from the Kanto region to work. I'm going to make you pay for every- Wait, no, she's- She's one of the Elite Four from Kanto, I think. Oh, what's her name? Or is she one of the Elite Four from- No, she's one of the Elite Four from, uh... Uh... Platinum, I think. Could be losing my mind. We're gonna make you pay for every last slight. Bandit Charm challenge you to battle.
And partially asleep. Fuck's sake. Oof. I come back to see final challenging a ganger hunt. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Uh, Snorlax. What a disgrace. And so yeah, Rose, I, I found, I think I've realized she's one of the Elite Four in Platinum. How, how could all of us have been... Hey Charm, I healed up Obama's snow and ta coins Tucker's Croak, good as new. Now we can keep battling until we run out of potions. No one invited you, Tiny. You're really gonna insist on getting on the way, you little runt. Can't okay, take him down, Toxic Croak. I know it's hot, but hang in there, Obama Snow. Smash that runt. Gareth, please stop. You cannot beat such foes. Lena, what are you doing here? I thought you were waiting with little Gareth. I was, but then he jumped into the ocean without warning and swam all the way here. It's the ocean, but he was terrified of the ocean up after it swallowed up the former lord, his own father. I think I heard somewhere that she's an ancestor to one of the elite four of Jodo. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Finally, it looks like he finally found his courage. The late lord's child, he's evolved. His true bravery may not like crossing the sea, but find his strength to face hardship head on. You gotta be joking me, why did the puny one evolve? Uh, sister, something's not right. Uh oh. No, she's wearing snow goggles, but lives nowhere near Snowcat Mountain. Uh, I would say those are ancient divers goggles. What? Lena, stay back. What's happened to him? A strange lightning hit him. He's become frenzied, just like the other nobles. This is exactly why I didn't want to come to this island. Everything was just going as we wanted before that awful mutt ruined everything. Now that sisters, we leave this place. We won't be making any living without our lives. Hey wait, this is all your fault. We should get out of here too, Polina, otherwise we're fair game for Arcanine. Come find him, we should hurry. Yeah, let's move 30 feet to the right. Lena. They clothe your sister's snow goggles. Interesting. You see when Granolith and Arcanine are four times weak to water types, they're a fire rock. Okay. Thank you for the type check, by the way. I wouldn't have known if it was part rock. What are you going to do about Granolith? I mean, Arcanine. The dear little Pokemon is my responsibility. As is warned, it's my duty to protect him with everything I have. It just burped. Bottom what must we do to quell this frenzy? Please tell us what we need. We need to make some bombs. Irida, what are you talking about? The leader of our clan, is it so surprising that you that I know a little bit more of these things than you, Lena? 
I held my tongue the first time, but now I must insist. Stop calling me Lena in front of everybody. Yes, I'm well aware of your leader, Rita. How could I forget that you were the one chosen? You who could use a celestial flute to summon Pokemon and have them carry you to even the, farther, the farthest reaches of Astisui. I've learned a little more of these frenzies as well. There's a special method for dealing with them. We can make bombs. Pouches containing a mix of the Lord's favorite fruits and throw them at from a safe distance. Isn't that right, Final? Well, in that case, I always carry some of the uh, Gala's favorite foods with me, so I can thank him when he uses his flames to help prepare Basque Legion's favorite meal. Why well, can once again, your thoughtfulness saves the day. Now we can make those bombs right away. Let's get right to work. They are ready to hear the bombs we need. Please let me know when you feel prepared to try to quell Lord Arcanine's frenzy. I'm going to get my ass incinerated. Are you ready, Final? Yes, I'm ready. Please do your utmost to save my dear Arcanine. He may have finally become a lord, but it's clear his frenzy is causing him to suffer greatly. Be on your guard. The late Lord Arcanine would still launch devastating attacks after standing still and gathering a light around himself. Remember that while your dodging moves will slip by you. Good luck. Hell yeah, d uh, time to one of these boss battles. Lord of the Isles Arcanine. Okay, that's good. Okay, now I have a Luxray, nice. Uh, do I have any water moves? I have no water moves. Uh, this might be a stupid idea, or we can try. Awesome. How the hell am I supposed to dodge that? Hell yeah. I love how it's like an ashen white. Oh look, the strange light of less has left Arcanine and is vanishing into the space-time rift.
You received the flame plate from Arcanine. What could possibly lie on the other side of the rift, I wonder? Was that two different Arcanine cries just now? That's really sad. Oh, now I understand. My lord Growlith, ah, no, I must spoke. Lord of the Isles, Arcanine. You and I must now live apart so that we may attend to our separate duties. Now, now, all will be well. You're strong. Far stronger than me, in fact. From now on, let us strive to fulfill our duties as Lord and Warden. Now go, Lord Arcanine. Your realm awaits. Hey, Vulpix in this game, but I accidentally scared one off by throwing my Eevee at it. Where's... Where's... Okay, I think I'll discover where the Vulpix is. Was there only one that felt like they heard the cry of the previous Lord Arcanine earlier? Oh, how odd. I certainly didn't. Please, I do hope you're joking. I'm easily scared as it is. What am I to do if I start hearing the cries of ghosts all the time? No need to worry, Iskin. I own the kid. I also heard the voice of the previous Lord calling out to us. It seems like I wasn't the only one watching over his young pup this entire time. Or this whole time. Finally, you have my heartfelt thanks for helping my dear little one, the new Lord Arcanine. I'm sorry to ask more of you, but please, look after Erida as well. Now then, Iskin, I believe we'd best be off. Bullpix is in this region, that's what I'll say. Okie doke. Final, I wasn't much used just watching from the side, was I? You know, when Lena didn't raise Growl to be the new lord and our people in our clan were doubting her fitness as a warden, I urged her to put the Growl through proper training, but she snapped at me. This Pokemon, poor Pokemon says own father die, she told me. Is it a warden's duty to force a child in such pain through that training? Those words left me with much to consider. Even when Ark and I became Lord of the Isles and grew frenzied, all I could do was watch. What about the bombs? Please, all I did was arrive late and help explain about the bombs. Something you could have done without me. Is that so praiseworthy? Do I deserve to be recognized for such a slight contribution? I took on leadership of the Pearl Clan so young, with no grand vision for what it should be. Still, I tried to respect our old customs and sights, even, even as some called me old-fashioned for it. But watching you, I finally see. I know what I want to do. I want to protect this vast land, land, vast land of Hisui. Grant me another battle someday, final. I want to battle alongside my partner so we can grow strong enough to be of help to you. And to broaden the horizons of the world, I see. Okie doke. Looks I've got Lena to thank for yet another lesson I've learned. I should let her know. And hear more about her relationship with Warden Iskin while I'm at it. <laughs> This is where we part for now, final. I need to get off this oven of an island. Can I climb the sides? Oh, I tried. Oh, but I can go around the outside. Did you get a right Pokemon in this area? You mean in the coastlands? Yes.
Oh no. Oh fuck. Ah, shit. Oh, don't tell me I lost a lot. Oh no, I lost a, oh, I lost a ton of air candies and shit. Oh. I guess it would mean there's one in every region in the Noble 2. Probably. Fuck. I should have really put those candies away. The only one here would be another new Pokemon, Basky Legion. Am I right about that? Yes. Let's tell Commander Kamado the good news then, shall we? Back to Jubilee, we go. Alright, so after we report back to Commander uh, Kamado, I'm gonna call it quits here. My little gun, wonderful timing as always, I see. You really came to my rescue with that pickling stone, you know? You're quite the little helper. So I wonder if I can impose on you again for help with a new pickle proposal of mine. I was down by the sea gathering fresh ingredients when, when recently when, wouldn't you know it, an artillery popped up and sprayed me with ink. What did you think? The ink, it, well, it tasted rather good. Inspiration quite literally struck me at that moment. I wish I knew I could use this ink to create pickles the likes of the world has never seen. Dark pickles. <laughs> the, the lore reason how Basque Legion are evolved and to explain why it went extinct. I haven't seen the lore of it, but I'll be sure. But making food out of something a Pokemon I sped up seems risky to say the least, no? So, so a little research on artillery is in order. Let's break a Madeira. If you learn more about artillery, please let me know. Cool. At least something else would be good. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do a quick thing in the obsidian field lens so I can grab myself a metal coat. Hearing reports of one of those mass outbreaks out there. Stay safe, kid. Apparently there's a mass outbreak of gold bats now. That could go south a little bit. They're so funny. I can explore what's on this giant island here. Pokemon and outbreaks of one in five hundred.
Romana's Island. What what's here? Oh, there's a chimchar here. Oh, and there's a fucking Monferno. Holy hell. Oh, wait, does that mean there's gonna be... Oh, there's gonna be like a... A, 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 a Torterra and a... And a, and a, uh, an Apollyon too. Oh, I can't wait for the Apollyon. Shit's gonna be awesome. Not sure if there's an increased alpha chance too. Probably. Oh, I imagine getting an alpha Napoleon. Napoleon's like my favorite, like, starter, starter Evo. Now before you buy a wee treat, let me your ear mullet, would you lad? I came up with a new treat using candy truffles, but it's caused me nothing but sorrow. Every last person who tries it say it's beyond saving. A complete disaster, utterly terrible. I've had to shelf this new creation, and there it remains, in a salty puddle of my bitter tears. It'll likely never see the light of day again. Seems like I'll never be able to pull a profit from creation, but at least I'd like to share my recipe with somebody. Oops. Um, you like making things with your own hands, don't you? I can share my recipe with you. I've got plenty of candy truffles to spare. But you need a soot foot ring, a soot foot root, a springy mushroom, and a huckleberry. He's depressed while this kid is just smiling. Good day, if you stop by. What does it you need? I want items. I want milk. Yes. All right. Uh, up. Please tell me it actually goes into a Caesar and not a uh, Cleavor. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Holy hell, I, th like, I caught like an alpha, alpha scyther. Hi there. You're fucking massive. <laughs> That's an alpha, all right, hell yeah. <laughs> Hold on, let me... Oh, where's... Where do I get... Oh. Have, have you... Uh, Rose, have you seen the, uh... Or have you heard of, like... The, the like, the deafening screech of, uh... Of a... Alpha Heracross? It sounds like death. Actually, I'll just show. No, I haven't? Okay. Get ready for what sounds like fucking death. Leaves the morning so I can turn down my volume. Let me, let me let me just pull it back so I can show you one more time. Like this shit's like I expected a louder screech. No, it just it just it's not loud. It just sounds like death. 
Oh well. I definitely got to figure out where that, uh, where the Torterra and the uh, Empoleon are going to be, though. I should probably grab these while I'm down here. Taste of honey. I'll move from the agriculture core. Thanks, it's time you discovered something about Combi's honey. It's because of good fellow and help him out with city church. Okay, okay. well on your mission in the Cobalt Coastlands. Your efforts were aided not only by the Galaxy team, but by the Pearl Clan as well. I do hope your efforts will also have an impact on the space-time rift somehow. If we, were to able to get, if we were able to get rid of that rift, it should clear any lingering doubts about your origins. Though how we, how we might actually close the rift, I haven't the slightest idea. Remain true to the mission. You notice that today's potato mochi tastes a bit different? Well, that's because I used Pokemon's flames to roast them. Bon appetit. The birth of a new Lord Pokemon. What a, what a sight that must have been. If only I had journeyed to the Fire Spit Island to witness the event myself. I had a hard time imagining you making that trip on Basquiat's back, Professor. Come now, you know my coordination is so poor I can't even hit my own foot with a Pokeball. And I can't dodge Pokemon attacks quite literally to save my own skin. Of course, I can't possibly ride atop a fearsome beast like Basquiat Legion. That being said, we'd all do well to remember these wise words. The ever-striving soul is rewarded in the end. And strive I shall, for the sake of my research, I will surely write a Pokemon one day and record the experience in our Pokedex for all posterity. Just you watch. I feel like he's gonna come riding in like the final battle, you know? <laughs> Accidentally falling off, but like dropping something that's gonna help. There is a Pokemon that will kill you or mute you in Hatterene's. No, uh, there's also. Uh, ah, what's his name? Shedinja. Shedinja will also kill you. Uh, good morning, it's good sir who came from the sky. Commander Commodo told me to, to let you know he waits for your arrival in his office. Wait, I'm forced to go to the new one? Final, I have your next orders. You must go to the Coronet Highlands to quell another frenzied noble, Electrode Lord of the Hollow. Electrode has a prosper... Uh, or propensity to store up electricity in his body then unleash it. But since the electrode became frenzied, those electrical outbursts have become giant blasts. We'll be enlisting the Pearl Clan's aid in securing you safe passage to Electrode's seat. I've sent word to... I had to Rita asking... No, you do not have permission to go up the... Oh, save it. As I'll stop you, the likes of you now out of my way. I think she's another Elite Four member. 
you two should have never had his emotions removed, but they did anyways. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Hey ho, boss man Kamado. I thought I thought it might have slipped your mind to send me in fights. So I took the liberty of stopping by anyways. Melly, where are your manners? We're having an important conversation. Well, there's your right issue. There's your issue right there, Adam. And how did he ex exactly intend to discuss Electrode without me? It's mighty warden to, here to weigh in. There's no more to discuss. We've already asked Final to quell the Lord of the Hollow. Well, come on. It's Is it me you're trying to humiliate out here or our entire clan? Besides, do you really think that this flimsy little noodle can quell Electrode? She seems joyous. Commander, I'm sincerely sorry, I'm sincerely sorry for this heedless interruption. I pay it no mind. It seems even security corps personnel I trained myself cannot stop one so capable as Warden Melly. That being said, yes. It is clear the security corps needs even further rounds of training from me later. Hear that, Melly? The security corps will sob themselves to sleep tonight, thanks to you. <laughs> Because, and I quote, it wasn't ready for them. Yeah, I imagine it's, like... Because it's, it's a, like a very psychological Pokemon. It'll fuck with your brain and mind control you. Just think of it, if it knew emotions, like, just anger. Like, it would just destroy a person. Here's the melee. The security core. Right here. The commander's sumo moves can send even boulders flying. Hmm. Now, now, that will do. Final, you have your orders. See to it that the electrode is quelled. Warden Melly, of course, we'd appreciate your help if there's anything you might assist with. Now go. And that suplex is a boulder just because she can. Yeah, I, I love that. This, listen, Melly, the Galaxy team, well, at least final, is amazing and will prove it. Follow me outside. Wait, am I actually going to battle Adamin? Oh, yeah, I'm battling Adamin. So I promise you guys I will not do the Highlands. Oh, it's a Leafeon. Okay. Alright, final, go around with me. Let's not. Come on, just be a good sport and battle me. Look, look if you don't, Melly will be completely insufferable about it. Uh, yeah, I'll just go Caesar. You bet. Melly, make sure you watch closely now. She isn't even looking. <laughs> And it was a critical hit. Nice. You defeated Eevee. You three and Voltor were electro or gra electric grass type Pokemon. I've seen images of them. They look so fucking funny. <laughs> See how good final is now. Yes. No more sneering at him. Hmm. Now I think our helper from the Pro Clan was going to meet you at the training grounds once you're ready. Till later, final. Glad to have your help as always. <laughs> For a second there, I thought Adam had just said, Melly, shit yourself. <laughs> Melly, shit yourself, unless you want to get even for more of an earful than you already do for. Oh, uh, come on, Adam, and cut me some slack here. Final. 
Join me in the Survey Corps office. We'll go over the particulars of your new mission. Those are forcing me to. Damn it, I was holding. Hoping it would hold off locking it so I'm not tempted to go in. Your, your survey work will take you to the Coronate Highlands next. You'll be on the Rift's doorstep. There's no telling what perils await. Your current rig qualifies you to conduct research in the Coronate Highlands. But you'll need help from a particular person to survey and ultimately call this electrode. Go to the training grounds, you should find them there. Okay, now that I actually, like, I'm in a decent spot not to get, like, throttled. Um, yeah, I'll call it quiz here today. I'm sorry, didn't need to yawn doing that. Alrighty. Anyways, let's figure out who to raid. We can raid Pipton. We can, but let's see who else. Let's see. We have Pipetron, Techno Witch, V Turnup. Uh, Toxic Penguin, I haven't interacted with that much. And uh, Bathwater Bro. Personally, I don't want to raid Penguin right now. Maybe in the future. You know, I'm going to raid Turnip just because. Uh, actually, no, no, I haven't raided Techno Witch in a while. What, is, what does Techno Witch usually say? Rose, you, you're often a, a raider with Techno. What do, you, what do you usually say? Like something about the coven. Just because I want I want to make a spoof of what she usually writes. You are the traitor. You have joined the coven. Okay, so we need we need to we need to modify that to like you you have joined the bonfire. Hmm. They play a lot of TT mode in TOS. Yeah, that that I know. Anyways, uh, let's let's get that raid ready. Uh, the raid message will be. Why do they call it a coven when you coven the cold food and cough out eat on each of I already made that as a stream title once. You can't do that to me. Uh, you are the witch. You have. You have joined the bonfire. I don't know. Well, yeah, because we're, we're writing techno specifically. Anyways, I, fi I figured gun would probably be appropriate. <laughs> they are cover since they are cover leader at witch. I mean, whatever. Yeah, so let's 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 use that against them. I think that'd be funny, and I think they'll get a kick out of it. Um, but I hope everybody has a good rest of their day or night. Uh, let me drop the Discord link, Discord, and the YouTube link, in case anybody missed a vod. I apologize, by the way. The Xenoblade 2 uh, finale vod is gone. It didn't upload properly. And it didn't tell me. So, anyways, hope everybody has a good rest of their day. Take care.